Hey everyone, this is Steven here, back at it again with another video. In today's video, I plan on doing a brief overview of the sports card grading companies, but the main focus of today's video is going to be on how their value is holding up compared to PSA. But before we get into that, if you enjoy this type of content and would like to see more in the future, please feel free to hit the like button and also subscribe. So now that we got that out of the way, we can get into the actual video. So the first thing I want to touch on is just do a quick summary of the five biggest grading companies within the sports card industry. I did do a more detailed video about a month ago, really summarizing and detailing some of the pros and cons of each company. I'll link that above. So if you're more interested in getting some more specifics on each company, please go check out that video. But the second part of this video and the main purpose of this video is I really want to look at how some of the values and the prices of some of these newer grading companies are holding up compared to PSA. So CSG and HGA are extremely new companies. However, we are starting to get new data and more data on some of their recent prices and how they're holding up. But since we're comparing those two, I figured we might as well just compare SGC and Beckett to PSA and kind of just look at how all cards are holding up compared to PSA. So with that being said, we can get into the first part of the video. I'm going to do a quick summary of each grading company. So PSA on the top here is currently the big dog in the sports card grading industry. They are still known as the king. They are currently suspending all base or economy services. So they're not currently accepting any orders, but their turnaround time was about 11 plus months, so almost a year to get your cards back. And the price per card was about $20 uh, with no subgrades. Beckett is currently still known as the second player. We'll see if anything changes with looking at this data, but currently they're still known as the second player within the grading industry. Price per card for Beckett is currently $20, with, which excludes subgrades. And then the price per card with subgrades is $35, so an additional $15. But again, similar to PSA, they recently announced that they're suspending their economy services. Prior to that suspension, it was a 10 plus month turnaround time. So again, almost a year for uh, their turnaround time. So extremely slow for PSA and Beckett. The next player is SGC. As you can see there in the slabs, they have the black border slabs. They call it tuxedo time. So their price per card is about $30 per card with out subgrades. It was recently $75, so they did just lower that down to 30. And the current turnaround time there is a pretty fast 20 to 25 business days for SGC. And then the next player is CSG. This is a newer company within the sports card grading industry. As you can see there in the slabs column, they have the green slabs with the bigger labels, very long labels. A lot of people, it sounds like, aren't the biggest fan of the labels, but again, that's the that's pretty subjective and it depends on the person. But as of right now, their price per card is $20 without subgrades and $30 with subgrades. And their current turnaround time is 75 business days, but I would not be surprised if it's actually longer than that because they did get a lot of cards sent to them ever since PSA and then now Beckett recently shutting down. And then the last player on the list is another new company, which is HGA, and they're mainly known for their slabs. So the labels on their slabs can match the jersey color or also the color of the card. So they have very unique slabs that isn't currently offered in the marketplace. So a lot of people really do like their slabs. Their current price per card is $20, which includes subgrades, and their turnaround time is 60 days. So a quicker turnaround time with HGA, and this is all for standard or just basic economy services. And another thing with HGA is they currently have a queue system. So it's more of a lottery system where they only let a select couple people enter the queue each week and each month. So it's more of a lottery system to get into HGA. So it's extremely hard to get your cards into HGA. So that is another thing to note. But again, if you want more details or information about each grading company, please feel free to check out the video linked above. So now that we went through a summary of all the grading companies, we can get into the fun part, or which at least I think is the fun part. But now we're really gonna look at how each grading company and their cards are holding up compared to PSA. So what we did for this is we took a sample of baseball cards, basketball cards, and football cards, and we just compared them. So we would take a, a nine, for example, with PSA, Beckett, SUC, CSG, HGA, and we would log the prices and just compare how they're holding up to PSA because they're still the number one, which you'll see once we go through some of the data. But there are some disclaimers I do want to make. The first one being that it is extremely hard to find the same grade for all five of these companies as CSG and HGA are still fairly new. 
And then PSA also being shut down makes it a little harder to find some of the newer cards that just aren't able to be sent in. So that was one thing that was kind of hard to find is just a consistent set of data that matched for all five of these companies. And then the second thing to note is that this is an extremely small sample size. So it's only going to be 14 cards, five cards for each sport. So there are going to be some anomalies in here and it is a smaller sample size. So please take that into consideration and please note that. But I do want to say that even with this 15 card sample size, I do think that it is enough data to kind of show where the prices are heading for each of these companies and how their values are holding up from the current data that we have. But again, a lot of this can change over time, but this is just as of today, it's June 13th. So I just want to show what the data is looking like right now. But again, everything is subject to change. And how we're going to do this is it's going to be broken out by the three sports. We're going to start with baseball, basketball and football and I'm just gonna walk you through some of the cards that we compared and then at the end there will be a summary so we're gonna start with baseball now and the five cards that we picked the first one is a pretty common card but it's 2018 tops update Ronald Acuna Jr. in a nine the second card is a Fernando Tatis Jr. 2019 tops chrome card number 203 again in a nine and this sold for $113 for BGS and then a Mike Trout nine Tops update 2011 rookie card US 175 sold for 1,500 in a HG89. And the next card we're sampling is a 1989 upper deck card number one, Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card in a mint SGC9 sold for $176.50. And then the last card for baseball that we're going to be sampling is this 1991 upper deck. SP1 Michael Jordan CSG9 Mint. This one sold for $117.50. And again, the reason why we picked this Michael Jordan card is because it was extremely hard to find cards of the same grade for each of the companies. So we did, we did find that this card met all the criteria. So that's one of the main reasons why we picked this card. But for a summary for baseball, I found it kind of interesting. So we have the cards here in the rows, grading companies on the top columns. So as you can see, this is saying for baseball, the five card sample, HGA sold for on average about 89% of PSA. So you're almost getting 90% of what PSA is selling for. CSG is about 86% of PSA. And then this is kind of the trend here that we're seeing, but SGC was about 78% of PSA. So this one's really lagging behind for SGC. And the BGS was about 92%. So overall for baseball, at least in the small sample size, it looks like the newer players, HGA and CSG, are holding up, and they're actually pretty close to BGS, which is currently known as the number two player. But the thing that really stood out to me was SGC, and it does not look like they're holding up very well compared to some of the other companies. But again, this is a small sample size, and then this is baseball, so now we'll move on to the next sport, which is going to be basketball. So for basketball, we sampled a very popular card, but this is 2018-19. Prism Luka Doncic rookie card number 280 and this is an HGA 9 which sold for $405. The next card is a 2019 Donruss Optic Zion Williamson and this one sold for $59.99 and that's in a SGC 9. And then we did pick some older cards in this and this is the 1990-91 Fleer Michael Jordan card number 26 and this is graded in a BGS 8 near mint condition and this sold for $29.99 and this is again in a BGS 8. And then the next card we sampled was this 2018 Panini Prism Trey Young rookie card number 78 in a SGC 9 and this one sold for $77.66. And then the last card we sampled is this 1996-97 Topps Allen Iverson rookie card. This one's in a BGS 9, and this one sold for $79.99. So let's see how basketball did. So again, these are the five cards we sampled. We have the companies on the top columns here. So overall, the trends look pretty similar for basketball, even though this is a smaller sample size. But for HGA, it was about 87% of PSA. CSG was about 98%. There were some anomalies in here, but still, CSG looks like it's holding up pretty well. And then SGC, again, this is looking like it's 74%. So SGC is really lagging behind some of the other companies. And then BGS is about 90% here, 89% of PSA. So for this one, it looks like CSG held up the best, but again, there are some anomalies as a smaller sample size. But overall, the trends that we're seeing would be that HGA and CSG appear to be holding up pretty well compared to PSA and BGS, but 
the trend is starting to show that SGC is really lagging behind, which I wasn't really expecting until I put this data together. But this is just baseball and basketball. Let's see how football's doing. So for this one, we sampled Patrick Mahomes in a nine for HGA, and this is his 2017 Don Russ rated rookie, and this one sold for $406. The next card we sampled is Justin Herbert, and this is his 2020 Donruss rated rookie in an SGC9, and this one sold for $40. And then the next card we sampled is this CSG9 of 2000 Upper Deck Tom Brady rookie card, and this is again in a CSG9. This one sold for $660. And then the last card we sampled is this Joe Burrow, and this is his 2020 Panini Donruss rated rookie, card number 301 in a HGA9 and this one sold for $48. So let's see how the companies compared in football. So again we have the card in the rows here and for football we were only able to sample four cards because we couldn't find the fifth card that all of the companies had graded. So again the smaller sample size here but let's see how football did. It looks like HGA held at about 88% of PSA. CSG was a little lower at 84% and then again SGC here 74% of PSA and then BGS was trending close to HGA and CSG at about 86% of PSA. So that's the three main sports. Let's check out the summary view of this. So overall, I have all the sports here. So we have baseball, the percentages, basketball here that we went over, and then football down here at the bottom. But let's look at the total overall summary. So for all the three sports, and again, this is a 14 card sample size, HGA is about 88% of what PSA is selling at as of right now. CSG is about 89% of what PSA is selling at now. SGC is 75%. So again, this is the one that's really standing out to me just by looking at the small sample size is that it appears that SGC just isn't holding up to some of the other grading companies. And then the last one here that I also found kind of interesting is BGS, and that's about 89% of PSA. I was expecting that number to be a little closer to PSA, maybe closer to the 92 to 93%. So it does appear that BGS is falling just a little bit. And then also the thing that really stood out to me is that HGA and CSG are currently holding their value pretty well compared to PSA, and then they're also tracking really close to BGS. So the two newer companies are holding up pretty well so far, but the main takeaway is really that SGC is not really holding its value. It's only at 75% of PSA, and they charge $30 per card. So if you're submitting to SGC, you really have to hope that you get a 10. And then another thing I wanted to mention is I excluded 10s on this because the grading skills are pretty difficult to compare we know that the BGS 10s are extremely hard to get and they sell for significantly more than the PSA 10s. And then SGC does have some gold label 10s as well that sell for a lot more than PSA as well, but it's just harder to compare the 10s. So I did exclude 10s for this sample. But again, the overall story is that HGA and CSG are, are currently holding up pretty well for being newer companies. SGC is starting to really lag behind and it does look like BGS is still holding up, but it does look like they're coming down a little more. I was expecting them to be a little higher in these numbers. But again, this is a smaller sample size, so take it with a grain of salt. But at the end of the day, this is some of the data that we currently have. So I just wanted to put something together and I thought it was pretty useful. So I'm hoping that this was useful for you. And if you found this entertaining or of a value, please feel free to hit the like button and also subscribe. Thanks and have a good day. Bye.